I wanna recreate this histogram using my TI Inspire, and you can do this with the CX2 or with the CAS, it doesn't really matter. And I wanna start by typing in my data. I'm gonna create a new document. So let's go ahead and choose Add Page. So I'm gonna go Control, Add Document, and we're gonna add uh, lists and spreadsheets. So we're gonna type number four to choose that. I'm gonna start by naming my list. Now, the data that I've got in that histogram are exam scores. So I'm just gonna call this scores. And let's go ahead and type those in, number and then enter. Okay, so I've got all of my data in there. I wanna add an additional page and that additional page is going to be data and statistics. So let's do control add page. So control add page and then data and statistics is number five. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit number five and it just plots my numbers here with nothing really in particular. What I wanna do is to hover on that horizontal or X axis and you can do it with your touchpad here. I happen to be on a computer, so I can just move my mouse. I'm gonna hover over and then I'm gonna click here to add a variable. And scores is the only one I've got in there, so let's go ahead and click on scores. It guesses a dot plot, but we really want a histogram. Now from here, menu is going to do everything else for us. So I'm gonna click that menu button and we wanna change the plot type, which is number one. We wanna change that to a histogram, which is number three. And it just gives me a default here for my bins or my class widths. Now on my original histogram, I had those divided up into what would be letter grades, right? The 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s in groups of 10. So I wanna change that bin or that class width or the column width to 10. Again, I go to my menu to do this. So I click on menu. This time I want number two, which is plot properties. So I hit number two and we want histogram properties, which is two again. I wanna change the bin settings, which is number two. Again, I do want equal bin widths. I want 10 for each of those bars. So I hit one for equal bin widths. And I want those widths to be in tens. Now it assumes that I want my alignment at my minimum value, but what I really want is to start this at 40. So I've got a column at 40 or a bar at 40, a bar at 50 and so on. So I'm just gonna tab down and change that to 40 and then let's go ahead and click okay. Okay, so it does a pretty good job, but I need to adjust that scale. Okay, so again, menu, so I'm gonna click menu. And then this time I'm gonna change my window and zoom. So number five for window and zoom. And I really want zoom data so it fits the data that I'm using. Number two there and then enter. And I get a really nice looking graph. If you use your touchpad, you can hover over each of these. I'm gonna go ahead and hover over that first one until I get, see how I've got that little curved hand, there's that curved hand, and it tells me that I've got one value between 40 and 50. And this is including 40, notice that square bracket, but not including 50. If I go ahead and hover over the next one, I've got two between 50 and 60, which would really be two between 50 and 59 or 59.999. So we've got this really nice histogram, a lot more things that you can do here in menu or in settings. I've got more stats for you in this next video.